so yeah so first of all i think like before introduction uh, this is nothing to like nothing related to amazon first of all uh, now so uh, uh, i was working with bugman center harvard university till last uh, august 16 and uh, like so we try to explore all the projects that uh, Buckman was working on the world was working on. Uh, so usually, uh, uh, my GSOC projects was not related to machine learning or anything. So, but we had a very short discussions every day, and we like tend to find out what exactly is going around our industry. And uh, so, uh, there would be nothing technical in this. So, uh, like you can wait for for at least like ten to fifteen minutes before your lunch. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'll discuss some of the good projects that uh, like I came across or my colleagues came across. And uh, usually after working hours, uh, we don't have the energy to work uh, like code something. So we usually discuss on like what are the exactly impacts of AI. Uh, even if you Google uh, right now that uh, what exactly AI is doing us uh, to us. Uh, out of the ten first things you will get, uh, they will always discuss about like uh, what will AI do rather than what it has already done. So here, like uh, lots of most of the projects will be uh, exactly on uh, what already AI has done to us, or uh, something on proven grounds rather than theoretical ones. Yeah. Uh, so mostly outlining the first one, uh, we'll be uh, discussing on what exactly the present in entrepreneurship uh, scenario is, and what the like what exactly verticals uh, like companies are working on, and then we'll we'll have a short uh, notes on. Uh, like each vertical of uh, our world uh, and the impact of ai on that uh let's start with the industry so uh, this is the like a sm small survey as well as uh, like big research done by cb insights and uh, they tell what exactly uh, uh, ai scenario has improved so these are mergers and acquisitions uh, that has happened in uh, from like 2011 to 16 and uh, like we believed at the end of 15 that there will be a uh, probably small a break or small winter in AI, but that has not actually happened. So it was because of the like good projects that had Google and Facebook, like FaceNet, uh, WaveNet, FaceNet, and that came up and uh, threw all the awareness to the people. And that's uh, if you see the 16, uh, 2016, it is always increasing. So uh, a lot of the uh, good companies, major companies, they acquired uh, very small startups, and even the uh, investment scenario has changed. So these are the deals. Uh, if you see, uh, like in the quarter three and quarter four of uh, 2016, uh, sorry, second and third, uh, you will uh, see that like lots of money has been invested in AI, and uh, like the number of uh, uh, startups that started with AI uh, has been like uh, a lot. So this is the overall scenario uh, from 12 to 16. So uh, I came across a small. Uh, machine uh, machine intelligence landscape uh, they they researched uh, th from 2012 to till now and they uh, like crafted out the entire scenario so this was what started in 2012 uh, you will not see any of the open source projects that uh, help the people to uh, like develop more on ai uh, after two years this was the scenario in 2015 this was uh, like mi 2.0 uh, you will see that uh, uh, the small difference that uh, in in 2012 there was nothing uh, not more than four to five uh, companies working on each vertical and it was like very small like pro probably five to seven people uh, working uh, in the each companies this was uh, this was uh, the scenario in 2015 where like lots of companies grew up but uh, still the companies were small and like not uh, not like a lot of good projects came in research uh, this is what uh, last scenario is uh, that was in November 2016 you will see that like lot of the projects from Google, Facebook have came and mostly were open source. Uh, lots of open source tool came up. OpenAI uh, started like uh, some of the research uh, areas <coughs> projects, and uh, they also uh, in, uh, like uh, threw uh, one more application into the public that was a uh, un uh, universe. So yeah, uh, let's start with what exactly uh, was done in transportation uh, sector. So uh, you might already have like uh, heard about uh, autonomous cars, semi-autonomous cars, and uh, the main impact of this was that government actually trusted people, trusted the companies that actually was developing the semi-autonomous cars, and uh, they have like in San Francisco, uh, they have already approved the uh, uh, fully autonomous cars. So till now only semis are allowed. And yeah, at, uh, actually at the end of 2017, probably we'll have fully autonomous cars uh, on road also. Uh, yeah, of course, the lesser probability of accidents, uh, like human committing an error is like uh, 
but if you see the probability is like quite high likely than what uh, like autonomous cars will do and yeah there are still loopholes uh, in if you see the picture you will know what exactly i meant uh, there are lots of uh, algorithms that are still to be solved uh, transportation to so like we took a step ahead uh, from cars autonomous cars we went to drones and from drones uh, like merging drones and cars we like uh, dubai uh, if you might have followed up on this uh, recent news, uh, you are need like to know that D Dubai is already uh, developing a small uh, POC and they have already uh, show showcased that on one of the recent uh, events. So uh, they will have a taxi, small kind of taxi that will be like fully autonomous, probably at the end of 17 uh, on road. Yeah, employment. So like there have been lot of talks that uh, AI would like snatch lot of uh, jobs. But actually, if you'll see again, uh, if you research, lots of the research will always uh, have will that AI will uh, take your uh, jobs away, and there is no proven grounds that uh, it will actually do. Uh, in fact, uh, there are a lot of debates that uh, AI will create and uh, more jobs. So there is only one paper till now, uh, like uh, published by Organization for Economic uh, Cooperation and Development. Uh, which says that uh, after the 15 countries that is in the group, uh, this OECD group, 9% uh, uh, jobs have already been reduced. On, for UK, the scenario is that 10% jobs have been reduced uh, in uh, effect of the AI. So yeah, and there is no other paper that I am able to find on so uh, of course uh, productivity have been increased. Uh, we'll see how and ex uh, how like where exactly uh, it was affected. And yeah, of course, the like if you see uh, AI out of the entire hundred percent of the people, only probably twenty to twenty five percent of the people will be able to afford the uh, autonomous cars or the all of the technologies that will be able uh, will see AI affecting. But uh, so uh, it is anticipated and like nothing, nothing on paper, nothing on survey that uh, it will widen the uh, the gap we have between the rich and poor as well as the educated and non-educated. So uh, probably some uh, less educated people might take some more time to get adapted to the uh, new technologies. Uh, yeah, the, this was the scenario for the product, uh, the main uh, occupation categories uh, that employee employment share for exactly how, how what changed between 2002 and 2014. So the last decade actually uh, was the main uh, like AI impact uh, decade. And if you see that uh, the minimum the median main medium routine one uh, was it did the, the entire jobs reduced uh, to around minus 8.25 percent. So that is a too much for uh, like so so the main. Uh, uh, inference is that maybe uh, the top level employees might not be affected but the middle class and uh, the lower wages might be get affected the ones who work in the uh, industry or factories and all. Uh, yeah so like lots of lots of things in robots uh, like so the first one was that they, it, it, they become cheaper China actually like had lot of like four to five uh, big companies working on pushing the robots into each home. Uh, one of them is Ubitech, where they developed like like life size robots uh, uh, using Amazon Alexa, and uh, they can do like small tasks like uh, like listing the shoppery, uh, sh shopping list or something like that. But they became so cheaper that um, it could, it could be like already uh, into the homes uh, around in a, a, man a month. Uh, also, there are a lot of tasks that are like dangerous and like uh, hazardous probably. So uh, uh, one of them is the nuclear waste cleaning. Uh, Japanese already uh, used that for around two to three years now. And uh, there was a recent news also that uh, uh, decaying has also occurred in those robots. And so even so the, uh, the recent developments has also said that uh, they are developing uh, such robots that cannot be decayed by the radiations. And also, uh, there are a lot of tasks like simple ones like painting high walls, uh, buildings uh, where like people have died a lot of times before. And uh, so, like NTU here has also developed a small prototype which can uh, like easily paint the entire building. And yeah. So uh also uh, there have been like uh, we have seen in lot of the movies that uh, maybe after some time we'll be able to uh, control robots using brains and all <laughs> so there is small prototype of that too i'll skip this one yeah so 
the prototype is here So uh, it was recently developed by MIT where uh, you will be able to tell the robot that uh, like what you are doing is actually wrong and will be able to train the robots uh, very like nicely and uh, as fast as possible. Okay, so education mostly uh, like lot of people have told that you will be able to replace the entire uh, teaching uh, scenario but uh, actually most of the people have said that it will not be possible as far as the face to face integration is concerned. So like uh, you will be able to your teacher will be able to understand you more than a robot is what they have claimed but uh, and so like till now uh, mostly it, uh, teaching assistants have been developed uh, till now. So there was one talk on TEDx. Uh, by Ashok Goel that uh, he developed a small assistant and then uh, so like there were four TAs and the fifth one was uh, called Jill Watson uh, usually uh, like entirely uh, built using uh, IBM Watson and they actually didn't tell the students that it was a actual robot uh, till the end of the uh, uh, entire course. So this is a small conversation and even you will be not be able to make what exactly uh, so one of them is by the teaching assistant and the other one is not. Uh, so the left one is. So yeah uh, if you calculate the long term uh, learning and like teaching improvements so uh, you will be able to find out that uh, uh, probably will take more time around a decade uh, so I don't have the data for exactly for that uh, to replace the entire stu uh, teaching uh, scenario. Also again uh, like Dubai, Dubai again has uh, like a small prototype coming up in end of the 17 uh, which will be assisting teacher on like uh, teaching a repetitive task uh, of every day. Uh, so lot of public safety and security uh, robots are like being deployed everywhere uh, where you uh, like so the entire data is being used for like predictive policing uh, which where the like the robot will tell you exactly uh, what can go wrong where before uh, 24 hours or uh, online algorithms also that uh, something could go wrong uh, probably and the accuracy is more than 90% uh, which has been achieved till now. Yeah, uh, and like so, night scope security robots in Mountain View, California is actually in production right now, and it has like helped a lot in a uh, lot of cases where to find out uh, like any sexual predators or any of the thieves, uh, like uh, just on uh, on time. Also, uh, again, uh, in news they have said that in 2018 uh, we'll be having uh, robots assisting in the Olympics also. So hopefully we'll be able to see a lot. Yeah, uh, this is a small uh, prototype where uh, actually the entire so like there are drones uh, which takes the uh, entire heat map of the area and it will tell you where exactly uh, like uh, what kind of emotions or like anger or anything is there in the general uh, public and it will tell you uh, that these areas are prone to uh, like crimes. Yeah, uh, healthcare there have been like uh, almost I guess three to four uh, like breakthroughs. Uh, one of them is like uh, finding the use of the existing drugs. So whatever we have already built can it be used for any other disease also. So uh, so there was a request in pharma pharmaceuticals uh, which have worked on around like 15 rare diseases which like uh, we, we exactly don't know what exactly uh, the solution of those diseases could be but they have been mapping uh, by like seeing the cells uh, more clearly and then mapping them to the uh, drugs that have been built. Also uh, Stanford research recently uh, spot cancer more accurately than uh, what humans could have done till now. 
uh, and they have like uh, so by identifying 10,000 individual traits, uh, they find out that if this uh, cells are like developed like by this way, and uh, this uh, could be the results. Yeah. Uh, of course, you might have already seen this video. <laughs> Uh, so it's also fun to just mash the keyboard. The neural net tries to return something coherent from any input that you give it. I mean, uh, so this is one of the uh, Google AI experiments. Uh, one of the like individual has developed uh, a small duet where you uh, like play some music on piano and it will like repeat with you. Not exactly repeat. It will uh, play a duet with you. So uh, just I'll play again and you'll get the idea. It's also fun to just mash the keyboard. The neural net tries to return something coherent from any input that you give it. I mean... Yeah. Uh, again, uh, two of the another two main uh, like projects that came up, one was Dancing Lights. So there are a lot of street plays and there are a lot of uh, stage performance going on. But uh, you need to have like manual people working for you who can move the lights for you. Uh, but there is a prototype where uh, the uh, according to the artist movements and also this is in dancing, uh, the lights will dance. And one of the uh, another like great tool by Stanford is to text to sc uh, scene. Uh, I'll just give a small demo of what exactly it means. Uh, it, it's like uh, you write the text and it will convert the exact uh, text to this, uh, any of the scenes that you tell. So if I say generate a room with a desk and a lamp, it will create a room uh, with a lamp. The good thing about this project is that uh, if you repeat the same uh, like commands again and again, it will like it had a lot of uh, database, a very big database, which will uh, create like different rooms for you. Yeah. Uh, in agriculture, actually, we are still uh, missing a lot. Uh, so, if you see, like, uh, we are be able to like detect the crop diseases, but it is actually only on the basis of the images that we are getting of the crops. Uh, there has been, there have been lot of uh, like Android uh, applications where like the farmer can click the photos and will know uh, what can go wrong, what diseases it could have after uh, probably a week or a two, or what exactly it has right now also. Uh, but still, uh, so though, though we have been able to like uh, attain 99, around 99.35 percentage accuracy, uh, like we are still uh, a lot uh, like back in terms of number of species that we able to find out. Also, uh, so af before three to four months, there have been lot of uh, pilots uh, going on where the drones uh, could be like hover around the entire area and can tell you what exactly the crop yields will be. So. Uh, it was actually like very breakthrough moment because through the images it is like really hard to tell what exactly uh, like crop yields would be and even that accuracy could uh, like we have attained till 97.5. Also you might have seen like it is very famous video of a Japanese farmer's son working on a, a his farm where like the cucumbers come in and uh, he has developed an entire hardware where uh, it will sort out automatically uh, according to the shape and all. Uh, the exact cucumber type uh, like is going what is like what he receives and yeah so the most important one is the social so if you see the sentiment uh, of the people uh, like it has it have been like like very varied a uh, lot of ethical issues uh, that what uh, like what exactly he is doing to us and but still uh, so more than data it is just a debate so uh, you will find it like everywhere uh, you will probably have uh, like so short conversation with your friends on the same uh, so yeah there are three most important ethical issues like uh, what humans do uh, can do ethically to build the ai what ai can do ethically to support us and uh, what could be the interaction the same uh, that this is a vicious circle and what could be the diameter of it so how this will happen uh, also, there have been lot of steps by like great people, uh, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, that they have signed an open letter that uh, what could be, uh, what could AI do to us, and what could we do to them to uh, like prevent uh, like it happen, right, going out of control of us. Uh, yeah. Also, Buckman Center as well as uh, MIT's Media Lab have collaborated on the same. Uh, like they have signed an ethics governance that this could be the steps we could follow to uh, 
uh, have the ethics on like so uh, again uh, there is a small uh, help that uh, ai has done uh, on lip reading so this is the online algorithm where the video goes on and uh, so this is developed by google where it will read the leap of the uh, so it is even more accurate than what uh, even we can do the one that uh, the who is deaf uh, so it will tell you the exact words uh, which the uh, like speaker does and yeah uh, there are small other three of two of the three i think uh, news that i have found out very very recently uh, the one just a week or two before like google uh, already uh, developed a small neural network uh, architecture where it can store the entire short memory uh, and long term memories also so like uh, using those uh, they have uh, made a small robot which which have directly gone to the entire uh, every corner of london uh, with only his own memory so every time like uh, he started with a small it started with a small uh, like zero memory and then uh, travel through entire london and uh, learned what exactly the map is uh, yeah thank you uh, any of the ideas that you have uh and want to share with people or any of the qas uh, thanks you so much for yeah, uh, for the recap of the sort of past present and future states of uh, uh machine learning as a whole as a whole across all these different uh, verticals quick questions please we do have to uh, vacate the room there's another uh, group coming in so um, any everybody is here hungry probably What is the meaning of the quarter three peak? In one of the first slides, you showed there was a large peak in the third quarter. Uh, this one? No, the next. Yes. Uh, yeah. So actually, what happened is, uh, like, there are most of the acquisition was done by two group. Uh, one is Google and one is Facebook. Uh, there was one small letter from government uh, that we could stop uh, developing AI. and they will not be issuing a lot of uh, uh, certificates or lots of uh, license i would say uh, to the new upcoming uh, ais so what google and facebook offline did is uh, they didn't disclose uh, that they have already uh, like uh, signed a merger and acquisition with uh, small companies and government has also increased the tax uh, only to stop the ethical issues uh, going in, around in the public so this is so after the third one uh, it we could have anticipated a very large uh, peak also again but a lot of the uh, news didn't came up so if you see here uh, the deals are the same uh, same number of deals 155 the, but the number uh, the the uh, money has decreased so lot of uh, lot of data was i, I uh, off, offline that was that's why it is written disclosed funding so then they didn't disclose lot of funding uh, in the last quarter So this is the second one actually, and this is the third one. So um, have you ever seen like um, any like AI application for the like uh, city scale, like um, to make like a um, smart city or to help government to organize um, their um, work better or something? Like that? Uh, for the smart city, in what exactly which like, sector? Like, you, you can you can use like AI to predict like the problem of like. Um, I think not exactly AI, uh, not artificial intelligence application exactly, but I have seen lot of predictive uh, like applications which are not exactly using AI till now. So it was still kind of uh, like drawing a line around the data. Yeah. So just a like small fitting line around the data, but not a very advanced uh, artificial intelligence uh, application. Okay. Any you know? I think uh, Japan might have, but uh, we are like out of news from Japan and China for like a lot of decades. I, I, we don't get lot of news from them. We might anticipate that uh, we can get more projects from them, probably. I know that uh, in in I think that uh, in Boston or something they have like uh, they they do the dashboard for like, one way to see like analyze the data of like the problem in the city. Okay. And
is it already in production yeah last year they the government got uh, all the funding okay uh, i mean the company who is who has taken up this project got the funding and i believe 2017 uh, second quarter they are about to come on in the market oh great great yeah. thank you anything else guys we will need to wrap up thank thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you, everyone.